Hey, what's up guys? Chief Pat here and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash Royale video and uh, it's time to get rid of some of these 330,000 gems that we have. Now inside of the last video, I ended up spending 150,000 gems, uh, which really didn't make too much of a dent to get up to level 13. I already had 40,000 of 80,000 XP. Uh, so today we're definitely gonna just keep opening up those chests, hit level 13 and be fully maxed out as far as level goes. And uh, let's just go ahead and start grinding our way through the chests. I'm gonna go pretty quickly and uh, Honestly, this entire video is just going to be dedicated to chest openings. So if you guys uh, want to watch just an insane amount of chests being opened, then feel free to tune in further because that's pretty much all we're going to have. So first, you can see I got an ice wizard inside of one of those first chests. And if you look, I'm actually really close to maxing my ice wizard out. I don't know what it is, uh, but pretty much over the last couple of weeks, ever since the super magical chests have come out, I've been pretty lucky with those. I think I have maybe eight out of 20 princesses and uh, my ice wizard is only like one or two away from being completely maxed out so let's just go ahead and pound through these chests as soon as we get 1 million gold on my account I'm gonna make sure not to go over I heard that molted inside of one of his videos and wasted a little bit of gold and that would be pretty tragic because you're gonna need a lot of gold to get your cards maxed out uh, so as soon as I hit a million I'll do some upgrades I'll get back to the chests and uh, we will see how many it takes to get me all the way up to level 13 all right so right now uh, we've only gotten one legendary so far I think looks like we didn't get one here either I looked at the chances and someone posted online that the chance of getting a legendary from a super magical chest inside of arena 8 is a uh, 40% or something like that I don't know if that's exactly exactly accurate but that's what I think I saw in the clash royale subreddit I've gotten a decent amount of them if you guys watched the previous video I think I got like three in a row and uh, I would imagine that I'm gonna get more like that today but anyways grinding our way through we got the sparky which was legendary number two and uh, again towards the end of this video feel free to comment exactly how many legendaries I've got and I'll probably post the answer sometime within the next couple of hours. All right, so we got a miner right there. He is our lowest upgraded legendary right now at only level two, but there's a second miner in the row to get him halfway up to level three. I'm trying to get most of my legendaries up to level three because that's pretty standard to where they can do a decent amount of work. And speaking of level three, our Sparky is able to be upgraded right now. And I will definitely do that as soon as we cap out on gold. All right, so I got a little bit excited right there. I thought there was gonna be, that might've been my fourth straight legendary inside of that chest, but would be pretty ridiculous. And not only inside of these chests am I trying to get legendaries, but I'm also trying to get plenty of cards for my rares because right now my rares are only level 10 and they're only maybe like halfway up to level 11. Uh, it takes a while to get the rare cards that you need. So you can see, I just maxed out the rocket right there. There's like the Valkyrie that I still need to max out. I think um, the fireball is a card that I'm using in my deck right now, which I'll show you guys in a second. I'm using some sort of weird Royal giant deck that I copied from the leaderboard uh, another legendary with a lava hound right there uh, but yeah we're trying to cap out pretty much all of our cards and I think I'm not gonna have enough gold after even going through all 330,000 gems to be able to max all my stuff out um, maybe I'll have enough because I'm getting so much gold just for going over the cap on epics and going over the cap on commons and eventually on my rares uh, but for now it's gonna be pretty tough to get all the gold that we need so let's just go ahead and keep storming through these and see exactly how many commons and rares that we can upgrade. All right, so 136 Musketeers, that's pretty nice. I think we're at 900,000 gold right now, so we're getting pretty close to the limit, and we're gonna go ahead and do some upgrades. Another Sparky inside of this chest. We've definitely been the most lucky with Sparky out of any of the three legendaries, which is pretty fun. I, I don't know if Sparky is the best legendary card. Um, I feel like all three of them have their own individual strengths. If you guys have an opinion on which legendary for the new ones you think is the best, definitely let me know below, but another sparky and wow okay those are definitely gonna help out for getting them to level four it takes 10 to get to level four so I'm not getting my hopes up on getting 10 sparkies but this is gonna be the last super magical chest that we open and then we should be at a million gold and a good to go for some of our upgrades okay so a million gold we've already spent 150,000 gems in four minutes let that sink in because it's pretty disgusting <laughs> opening up some or upgrading some of our cards we got the zap to upgrade the minion horde the fire spirits you can see the deck that I'm using it's pretty strong I'll definitely make a video on it sometime soon I've just been working on something really exciting that you guys will find out about tomorrow uh, inside of my next video. But again, let's go ahead and upgrade that Lava Hound. We had four out of four that we needed. Upgrade the Sparky as well. And uh, yeah, so far so good. The last upgrade is the guards that we'll do. Get those guys up to level eight. And uh, we are sitting at 62,200 XP out of 80,000. So guess what? We're going straight back to the super magical chests. And uh, again, once we fill up on gold, we'll go back to the drawing board and do some upgrades. And speaking of upgrades, that means we can finally get our ice wizard up to level five honestly the ice wizard i've never really used him that much 
I've used them in P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince a couple of times, but um, I've just never used him inside of my, a lot of my decks. I actually think he's a very strong card, you know. Um, I, I'd say he's pretty solid, and we're getting another Ice Wizard. Okay, for some reason, we got another Ice Wizard, but um, yeah, you can get one over the max amount of Legendaries, and then they'll start giving you gold. I, I think it's somewhere around 50,000 gold, but I'll have to find a way to incorporate the Ice Wizard inside of one of my decks. Uh, P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince isn't as common anymore due to a lot of the stuff like Royal Giant being so strong. I guess the P.E.K.K.A. is probably pretty good against the Royal Giant, but he's taken like 2,000 HP off your tower by the time he kills the Royal Giant. But anyways, stomping back through these Super Magical Chests, We've got a princess right here all the way up to 10 out of 20 pretty good right there uh, Princess still might be the best legendary inside of the game. She just doesn't have a great counter I guess the minor is a pretty solid counter to the princess um, But obviously not everyone's gonna run the minor inside of their deck because he's a really, you know Unique card and he only fits into certain deck combinations so just thinking about that, still think the princess might be the most versatile of every uh, legendary card because the only thing you can do is arrow it, which costs three elixir, and then people will just drop their minion horde right afterwards and you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, looks like we got another one with a sparky right here. That's gonna be three out of 10. We're at 800, 886,000 gold and uh, taking a look at what we've got, still plenty of stuff we need to upgrade. And at this point, it's sort of just deciding on what's the most valuable. Now I know the hog rider's strong. You guys, breaking news, the hog rider's one of the best cards in the game. So definitely upgrade him. Let's get the Ice Wizard up to level 5, and here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Now, there's a couple of cards I know might be strong, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I know the Cannon is definitely strong, so let's upgrade that up to level 11. Something like the Musketeer and the Minions, I think those are pretty good because maybe some sort of air compositions will come out. I know the Balloon, the balloon doesn't feel as good because the Fire Spirits are pretty strong against it, uh, but again, we're sitting at 68,600 XP right now. We're going to need a little bit more gold to do all the upgrades we want to do, so even if we're not fishing for Legendary cards at this point we're trying to get as much gold as possible and if we get enough gold we can get I think it's 1600 XP per upgrade and that'll give us enough to get up to level 13. All right so another miner inside of that chest only one away from upgrading to level three that would be pretty nice a couple more skeleton armies and poisons I think my wi-fi is disconnecting because I'm opening so many gems uh, and my bank account's burning luckily these gems were from uh from Supercell's refund for having those fully maxed out epics that used to cost 300 instead of 200 epics to go from level 7 to level 8. So 480,000 gems to spend on this is pretty ridiculous. And uh, let's just go ahead and keep pounding our way through these chests and uh, see how many more legendaries and how much more gold we can get. So another Sparky. Man, we've gotten like one Lava Hound and one Princess, I think, so far, but we've gotten like five Sparkies or something ridiculous. Definitely not complaining. I think the Sparky's pretty strong. Uh, and speaking of Sparky, what the heck? We've gotten so many Sparkies inside of this video so far. I feel like I've gotten as many Sparkies as every other legendary card combined. Uh, but again, not complaining, even though he is counterable by surrounding him with troops, uh, using the zap on him, which is a fantastic counter. He's still really strong inside of the right decks, and he's probably the most fun card in the inside the entire game to play inside of friendly battles, especially when people don't expect it. Uh, but going back to upgrade some of our cards, we got 500,000 gold left, which means we can get, I think, another 8,000 experience, which puts us two away from 200 away from being fully maxed out. So we're probably going to have to open up a couple more super magical chests. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and do that right there. We'll get the bomb tower. We got to test that out to see if it's still strong. The Tesla might be a go-to defense. It definitely counters the Lava Hound um, as well as the balloon. So definitely good to have that. Three Musketeers, one of my favorite cards inside of the entire game. I don't care if it's strong or it's not strong. Definitely a hilarious card to use. And uh, yeah, we need 100,000 more gold to do the two upgrades that we want to get done. Let's go ahead and pound through a couple more super magical chests and uh, that should be able to wrap it up. And we'll see exactly how much HP and damage we get to our towers for making our way up to level 13. All right, so 22 princes. I definitely don't need epics right now. My epics have been pretty much completely maxed out since the update came out. It was just a matter of getting the guards up, uh, but the epics do give me a, like 2,000 gold per epic I get. So unfortunately, no legendaries in those last couple of chests. Let's go ahead and upgrade the fireball, which I am using inside of my deck. And uh, looking at the last upgrade we want to do, I think the giant might not be a bad idea. A lot of people are playing the giant, and maybe if the royal giant gets nerfed, the giant will climb back in popularity. So upgrading the giant is going to give us all the experience that we need and we finally hit level 13 on this account and by finally i mean what two or three days after the update came out and uh, as you can see i get a massive buff to all of my towers i get 528 health to my king tower and 322 health to my arena towers uh, which is about a 10 percent increase from where they previously were and then for the damage another almost 10 percent increase with 11 for the king tower 12 for the arena tower 
and uh, yeah, that is going to do it for the gemming. I need to put my iPad down and not touch those gems anymore. Um, I'm going to open up probably the rest of my chests on stream, which I'll tell you guys about tomorrow. I've got some important details for you guys to check out. Uh, but yeah, level 13 on this account. We can make our way back up into the top 10 of the leaderboard. And uh, there's three days in the season left. The season closes Sunday at midnight Eastern time. So definitely want to make sure that I make my way back up there. I don't think I've ever finished below 15th since I've been fully maxed out in a season uh, or 18th that is. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.